Things could be worse. We could be dealing with excessive heat warnings. That is the case across northeast Texas and into parts of Oklahoma and Louisiana. The combination of heat and humidity is even worse up there, where the heat index could be exceeding 110. It's actively doing so up there this afternoon. We don't have it quite as bad, but still a heat advisory drawn for much of central Texas into the Brazos Valley, continuing for at least the next day or so. As once again, we have a heat index of 105 to 108 in some areas and our actual temperatures this afternoon should be getting to that 100 to 101 range and we'll get even hotter than that going into the next few days. Otherwise, things still look pretty quiet on the uh, weather front. We've got things that are just basically looking like mostly sunny to part with cloudy conditions. Going into Saturday, any sort of rain at all would be well away from here. We're talking some coastal showers as the sea breeze kinds of does its thing there along the Gulf Coast into Saturday afternoon, and that would really be about it. Sunday, you'll notice that there will be some attempts to get some showers and storms arriving from north to south across Mississippi and Louisiana, but everything is staying around the center of high pressure. Can't really make it in this far because... High pressure is pretty strong here, so that's going to keep the heat going and the rain away for the time being. Temperatures tonight falling down to somewhere between 77 to 79 degrees with highs tomorrow right around that 101 mark for many could even be just a touch hotter to our north. Now, as far as the 10 day forecast for central Texas goes each day over the next few days should get a little bit hotter, getting all the way up to 104 by Tuesday. Somewhere around Wednesday, we could sneak in an isolated thunderstorm at best, and that appears to be the only shot of some showers and storms out there on the 10 day forecast. Hopefully we'll get into some 90s next week, but the Brazos Valley could be dealing with 100 degrees or more from Sunday through Tuesday and then partly cloudy throughout much of next week with temperatures in the 90s.